McKesson Practice Choice for Metasoft is a web-based electronic medical record solution that integrates with your Metasoft practice management software. This solution gives you all the benefits of a cloud-based electronic medical record without having to switch from Metasoft. Certified for meaningful use, Practice Choice for Metasoft combines EMR, e-prescribing, the patient portal, lab integration, and integration with state immunization registry into one solution. The integration of practice choice essentially means that all of your current patients and new patients inputted into Metasoft will have a chart, an e-prescribing account, and patient portal account created for them automatically. In this video, we will explore the integration of practice choice and Metasoft and move through a brief patient encounter. Additional demos of numerous other features are available by contacting your value-added reseller or by calling McKesson at 800-333-4747. For now, let's explore McKesson Practice Choice for Metasoft. First, let's look at your work list, which appears on the left-hand side. Here are your appointments for today which you can filter to show only those patients who are ready to see the physician. There is also a section for any unsigned notes. This allows you to easily review, finish, and sign notes from the staff members you supervise and to access any notes you've started but not finished. The third tab is Clinical Tasks. Lab results are included in McKesson Practice Choice and these inbound results will automatically populate in the patient's chart and in the work list. Now, with a single click, you'll open Margaret's chart. At the top of the chart is a banner with the patient's demographic information, as well as any allergies. Directly below is the Chart tab, which allows for intuitive navigation of the patient chart. And here is the Encounter Detail and Progress Notes section, which we will cover later. In the Patient Summary tab, you'll notice a timeline of patient visits. Click one for more information. This screen allows you to view a summary of this patient's previous encounters in a single glance. For more information on any item on this screen, simply navigate to that section of the chart. First, your nurse will review Margaret's history. This tab contains the past medical, family, and social history sections. Anything you update in these sections can be pulled into the progress note. The red text denotes a pick list. By clicking on the pick list, you'll see a list of options. You can select one or multiple items from the list. You will see these pick lists again in the progress note. Next, you'll move to the vitals tab. Let's say you want to graph the last five vitals. McKesson Practice Choice has a number of preset graphs, or you can choose the vitals you would like to plot on the graph. Let's see how Margaret's weight is affecting her blood pressure. This graph can help Margaret connect to the need for behavioral modifications, medication adherence, or procedures. Perhaps you want to view the document library before starting your progress note. The Document Library tab is where you can scan and upload items directly into the system. This tab is especially useful for the offices transitioning from paper and those offices that receive high volumes of faxes and paper items. As you can see, you have the ability to filter the items based on the type of document you're looking for. Now that you've updated the history, taken and charted vitals, and reviewed the clinical note, you are ready to start documenting in the Progress Notes section. On the right side of the chart, click to open a Progress Note. McKesson Practice Choice has a number of templates already loaded into the system, but you can customize your Progress Notes to fit your office and workflow. Let's start with our Ear Pain template. As you can see, the SmartNote technology pre-populated much of the chart for you. Here again are your pick lists. 
Once selected, the picked item will change to black font and live in the signed note. All red, blue, and green items will be removed from the finished note. As you skip down towards the bottom, you'll see gray boxes for McKesson Practice Choice Smart Codes. Any information you enter in these sections will be pushed to the chart tabs when you save or sign the note. Now it's time to enter the diagnosis and procedure for today's visit. In McKesson Practice Choice, you have the ability to search for codes using natural language or common abbreviations. And here is a list of codes that match your search criteria. For the offices that frequently see a particular diagnosis or common sets of diagnosis and procedure codes, you have the freedom to set up custom codes. Here, you'll mark the follow-up and sign off on your note. As you can see, the sign note moves to the history section. If you take a glimpse at the diagnosis procedure tab, you will see the smart note technology in action as these items were pushed from the note to the chart tab. Now, you may send the charges. McKesson Practice Choice gives you the ability to send charges even if the note is not fully completed, which allows your biller to start processing your claims right away. That completes this demonstration of McKesson Practice Choice for Metasoft. There are more features in this solution than this brief video covered. We encourage you to contact your VAR or our offices for a deep dive on McKesson Practice Choice's full list of capabilities. Thank you for watching.